look what we got here. Remember the public are prohibited from inside this facility. Man, we have seen this before. We're prohibited by what? Real question is it says prohibited. Yeah. Now you guys are law enforcement. Um, what law prohibits that? Look, we're just doing, we just posted that. Chief, do you have anything to say about that sign? Not currently, no. What's that? Not currently, no. No? You approve of the sign? Yes, I do. That's why it's hanging late. The sign was put up in the lobby. Um, this sign here counterdicts the United States Constitution. Listen, y'all, these kids want to act up in school, want to go to school in a barrel shoe, want to make like they got no home training. So I told my son, don't go to school bathroom no more. I take care of you, son. I give you anything you want. I discipline you. But you're going to bash me like this? You no, know, so now I'm going to cut his hair. Oh, my God, that's going to be a good thing. Hey, do me a favor. Wait for the squad, guys. Now I saw you were in a restricted area. Now I want your ID on the field. You're not getting it. Don't embarrass me. I told him, don't embarrass me. No. All right. Erie County fam what you're looking at here is the very first audit from auditing Erie County of all time and as you can see underneath the Lancaster Police mission statement there is no unconstitutional sign so let's go ahead and take a look inside their other lobby where the other sign is located nowadays and as you can see there is no unconstitutional sign here so let's go ahead and fast forward to the next date down here today to check out a sign on request of a subscriber and Erie County family member down here in Lancaster, New York. Court is behind us, so we got no standing to say we can't record in here. What we got here, remember all the public are prohibited from inside this facility. Man, we have seen this before. We're prohibited by what? Yeah, can I talk to a supervisor and can I get a FOIL request form? I'm sorry, what was the first thing? A uh, supervisor. I'd like to speak to a supervisor or maybe the chief if he's available. And, and the other one would be a FOIL request form. Thank you. I don't think they're going to spend too much, si too much money on these signs here because they're definitely coming down. If we got to be here every week, guys, we will have these signs coming down. It's a nice lobby. I don't know what, what their deal is and why they don't want that, but. Hey, you sir? The supervisor? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm here to work on a story with the uh, Freedom of the Press, and I'm just um, more curious about this sign over here. It says that members of the public are prohibited from audio, video recording, or photography inside this facility. Is that? specifically referring to beyond the, sec the secured points, or are we talking about this office here? We're talking when there's another complainant or another party inside the lobby here that could impede their right to report something to us. Oh. What you just heard was a door open to the lobby and somebody is coming in to speak to the police. He said it is for their privacy. As you can see before he even said that, I did turn my camera away so this lady did not get on film. So to dispel that theory that them are the reason the signs are there, Erie County is very respectful. Their right to report something to us? Well, my real question is it says prohibited. Yeah. Now you guys are law enforcement. Um, what law prohibits that? Look, we're just doing, we just posted that so that someone's right to report something to us is not... No, no, I, I got it. I get that. But this sign, that, that's this only, sign that's doesn't, only it holds sign. no authority is what I'm saying. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, video recording inside this lobby is constitutionally protected activity. Um, I have members of the public ask me to come down here and address this with you guys because uh, I had the same thing in, in uh, the exact, almost the exact same sign, if I'm not mistaken, in Depew. And I, I would suggest maybe for you guys to change, you could change the sign to say something members of the public are prohibited from audio and video recording people's personal information. I'm sure that, that, that there's some penal code behind that, but when we're in public here, we, there's no expectation of privacy inside this lobby. If you guys got, you know, to take somebody behind the closed door over here to create privacy, that's up to you guys. But as far as the sign, um, I'm just looking to see where it gets its authority from. Yeah, absolutely.
All right, so your issue is with the sign that's not posted that while someone is in the lobby, that no recording can be done while someone is in the I'm, lobby. I'm right? saying if, this, if these people are in the lobby right now, I'm not taking their pictures. I don't care about their personal information. If I stood in this corner and they had something to say to you guys, you couldn't physically stop this camera from without breaking the Constitution, breaking the law yourself. No. So this sign has no authority whatsoever. And my biggest problem with this is people who come into this police lobby, the first thing they think is, man, is these police dirty? They're lying to us right off the bat. You know what I mean? You see where I'm coming from? Yeah, I, I appreciate what you're doing. Basically, when someone comes into the lobby, they may give out some information that may be confidential. Right? It's the first initial contact with us, talking to our dispatchers about case and incident that they're involved with right what we want to prevent is for and I have and I do in. and I fully understand I fully yeah, so, appreciate so what all. you guys so, are getting at but like my point is this sign just makes you guys look like a dirty police department no not at all so I'll but I'll, it does or otherwise I wouldn't have been told to come down here and ask you guys yeah, about it I mean I, this sign doesn't say it's prohibited from video recording um, it just says video recording and photos period I mean even what you're saying like it's to keep me from video recording people's personal information so how did photography get on there so, so that's all we're concerned with you know what I'm saying like how did photography yeah. get on the so sign I like appreciate that what you're doing and I'll take this information that you're giving me I'll forward it to my administration okay it's my administration's ones that, po that posted this yeah I, I filled out a FOIA request we're gonna find out uh, who uh, th authorized the sign sure. and where it gets its authority and uh, I also think I FOIA requested the chief of police's email so we can address this better um, but I just want people to know that we can video record in this office. This office is pretty much public as it gets. Right. And, yeah, and, and we, people we have no problem come in here to here disseminate recording, any information on. recording. Right. We have no problem with that. The only issue is when someone else is in here um, trying to record something like yeah, that. Yeah, and like it, I said before. And that's more that's more on a person system. like me as a as a professional and I do what I do. I professionally would, I'm not taking putting these people on camera. They're in here, you know. If she's got personal information got, or something, I'm not going to do it. So I may pick up on something that oh, yeah. someone may not. And you know, and that's that that would also be on me to, you know, delete that out or mute that out, but it's not illegal for me to stand here and record in this office and get anybody walking through here. I mean, the signs they really need to go or they need to be changed yeah. because it, it does make it look dirty. And I don't want to keep repeating myself, getting redundant, but You're I just want to make sure that people know that we can review the record in this office and this, those signs have no yeah. authority, that's all. So two things. All right, I appreciate the info you gave me. I'll forward that to my administration. Let them know your concerns with it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Secondly, maybe the best course of action for you is maybe to wait outside when it's clear in here, come in, record all that you'd like so that we don't run into that problem with someone else in here, confidential information, um, a victim, maybe not coming in because they see you. Yeah, but I mean, like, yeah. let's just also, let's take the, the aspect of how many people come in here and video record that the sign is worth. Yeah, it's all recorded in here, too. That's what I'm saying. Audio and, and that's what I'm saying, stuff. but, like, are these signs worth having here that could make the police department look dirty, right? Are they worth having enough that you have a problem with people video recording here enough that those signs are warrant? warranted even like again I'll, I'll forward your concerns to yeah and i understand they're just lieutenant um yeah. you got a badge number i can get real quick yeah, badge 58. all right thank you very much um but that's all i was just that and i'm gonna turn my full request and i'll be on my way but yeah, appreciate it. i'm sure you guys are here from the Erie county family about these signs so but, all right thank you very much no that's it i just wanted to make sure that you know i'm not going to get arrested for you know oh, something sorry. something something that you know is constitutionally protected like taking photos that's all Okay. Thanks a lot. All right. Let's a request for him to turn in here. Um, as it was, it, it, it is for uh, public records as far as police reports and that. Yep. I just put a third option on the thing okay. and wrote my request on the back. On the back. Okay. And I'm just requesting who authorized the signs that say no photos, photographs in here are prohibited because okay. they're definitely not. Um, the chief of police's email and okay. also the police lobby. Uh, oh. Did you mark somewhere on the bottom? I have an email address on there. Okay. Um, they should be able to get a hold of me at any any time there, okay. auditing Erie County. Uh, do you have ID? I just need to make a photocopy for the FOIA request. Um, I have ID, but I'm not going to give it up. Um, okay. I don't know if she'll be able to fulfill the request. Yeah, she will, because there's it's New York State law. If you just want to give me a photocopy of that so that I have a copy. But, yeah, she'll be able to do it. I need you to not film in here, though. Sorry. Private information. Um, no, thank you. There you go. That's creating privacy. I like that.
Thank, thank you very much. So this is the police station down here. Uh, we address these signs. They're the same ones as uh, the pew. Uh, Seems to think that we need a driver's license to uh, fill out our full request. That's obviously not true at all. Erie County fam, here we are looking at Chief William Kern of the Lancaster Police Department. I submitted that VOIL request on 9-22-22 and received the response letter 9-23 of 22. I'll show you that here. On October 5th, he filled half of our FOIL request stating that he is responsible for those signs in the lobby and approved them and gave his email address but denied our full request for the security camera footage of the public lobby where I was in there that day stating operational and security reasons. On the 5th that day I immediately appealed his decision to deny that for security reasons because it is the public accessible lobby and it is nothing more than government transparency to release this lobby footage because I already have the footage of my camera view I just wanted the camera view of the publicly accessible lobby to show transparency in the Lancaster Police Department but he was just being stubborn in my opinion. William here went ahead and decided to be smart about it and said I'm not the town of Lancaster Foil appeals officer that is the town attorney any appeals need to be properly submitted to his office. Just being difficult. And I replied to Willie here to do his job and forward that because that's the way the law works but I will tell you Erie County fam Willie here ignored that and he never forwarded it whatsoever. My experience dealing with Chief Willie here is that he has a smug smile he believes he rules over these people he will do what he wants the Constitution has no bearing to him and later in this video you'll get to see his response to this very sign. After a double check on March 31st of 2023, we did find that these signs are still intact. They didn't take any heathing from the people or warning about the constitutional rights. They don't seem to care. So after seeing these signs still up in this office, I decided I was going to have to speak to the town board. So the next clip you're going to see is the town board meeting where I spoke to the town board. And as you can see, it really is a nice looking office. I really don't understand why they wouldn't want photography or to hinder the First Amendment of the United States Constitution. All right, Erie County fam, let's get to that meeting. Call me in order. Can you please do the roll call? Councilmember Burkhardt. Here. Councilmember Dickman. Here. Councilmember Leary. Here. Councilmember Mazur. Yes. Supervisor Here. Me. Here. Um, Councilmember Mazur, would you do the pledge of allegiance, please? Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of all right, Erie County fam, here we are at the Lancaster Town Board meeting saying the Pledge of Allegiance, and I'm going to show you some footage that I found very interesting within this Town Board meeting that has a little bit to do with and shows some real eye-openers of what this Town Board and this town really thinks of their oath of office. And the issue at hand is a member of the IDA committee being thrown off the committee because she missed the first four meetings of the committee. IDA, by the way, stands for Industrial Development Agency Committee. This meeting was about an hour and 40 minutes long. I won't bore you with the whole thing, but let's go ahead and take a look at this one clip here. Then we'll get on to my speech speaking to the board. Right now, she's not on the IDA board. Um, 
that stay long. So. Take one. This. I mean, I think it's important to have another woman's voice on the industrial development agency board. Um, I don't. You know. Again, it's. I'd like to see uh, and maybe in writing from Ms. McNichol her reasons why she missed the last four, especially if we had somebody missed four meetings last year too. Um, I don't know if we should get to it because I don't know the board would agree to let her go. Well, she's been, uh, technically Bob said she's really not. Uh, she's not part of the IDA anymore. You got to do your own office within 30 days. So well, that's a technicality. We, we've gone this world before. You know, I, I looked that up no. before in the past, and there's people from the clerk's office that weren't, didn't get it in time. There's people from all different offices that didn't have their old office in time. Uh, may I ask a question? Were you notified to to come for your old office? I don't recall. I checked my emails. Did you, if you don't mind, did you get the notifications of the meetings? I, I'm included in group emails um, from Jeremy yes, but So you got the notifications December, January, February, March? Yes. Okay. Well, we don't want to delve into your, yeah. you know, personal life. No, um, it's not that. It's I just heard Mr. Lee master state that he called me. Oh, can you come up to Sure. Well, one thing bothers me. Um, Mr. Lee Master, just before you all, said that he called me multiple times and texted me multiple times. He called me once and texted me one time on January 18th and 19th. So it wasn't multiple times. I'll get my phone records for the board. I, I, yeah, he, he really wouldn't I, I think regardless of all this, but just you, one, you came here to present yourself to show to continue interest uh, being on this board. You are a small business owner in this community. Um, I know when I had the idea, I thought to have something like that on this board. Um, I thought it was very, got our input from all different facets. So I, I think you're a, a value to that board, especially if you're making the commitment. Um, and you know, I, I, I'm not in favor of, of having you removed from it. Just a question. Listen, I have nothing against Shannon McNichol. Appreciate what you did. Unfortunately, you didn't show up for four meetings and we had to move forward. Now, coming from you, Mr. Supervisor, you wouldn't put the mayor, okay, from the from the village of uh, Lancaster on the IDA, you wouldn't put the mayor from the village of the Pew on the IDA, which led in whatever you did, a lot of these things weren't announced either. So, I, I don't know what you're talking about here and the point you're making. I mean, I think it's, you know, it, it's great that a woman wants to be involved, but unfortunately, she wasn't able to show up for the meetings, and we got to move forward. We were warned by Mr. Zanner, the attorney for the IDA, we have to move forward, and we did. And that's where we stand at this point. So I'd like to move forward with this, if there is a second on it, and if there's not a second, then it's going to die anyways, but then we're going to have to come up with somebody else. Did anybody second it? Do you have an explanation why you didn't even email and just state that I cannot make it, because it doesn't take that long to even a text? All right, Erie County fan, now that you heard that, Keep that context you all just heard in the back of your mind. Now we're going to move on to where I got to speak, which is actually the last segment of this meeting. So let's fast forward and skip right to where they call me up, and we're going to speak on behalf of that unconstitutional sign. Yeah, that brings us to the part of the meeting. Everybody can come and comment to the time board on the five-minute time limit on any subject matter. If you'd like to comment, please raise your hand, come to the podium, state your name and address. Yes, sir. My name is Dan Erie County. Um, my residency is Erie County. Um, I come here to. Sorry, that's not proper. We need your name, full name, and we need your address. Oh, I don't wish to waive my Fourth Amendment right to speak to the public board. We can't record you. I don't wish to waive my Fourth Amendment right to speak in the public forum. Can't speak. Can't speak. Okay. That right there, Erie County fam, is your first sign that Mr. Supervisor has no clue about that oath of office that he took. Luckily for him, the town attorney was sitting right next to him to inform him about Fourth Amendment rights. Okay. I, um, I come to address the board about something that comes to my attention. I am uh, Dan from Auditing Erie County. I am a First Amendment auditor of this local area. and. Uh, the police department has a sign in their lobby that says members of the public are prohibited 
from video recording and photography inside the facility. And I'm specifically speaking about the publicly accessible lobby. I'm not talking about the back rooms because I can understand that is restricted access and we are not allowed to go back there and freely film, but the publicly accessible areas is a constitutionally protected um, area to be able to film in. Now, on March 21st of 2001, I did my first First Amendment audit ever in the Erie County area, and this police department, um, Lancaster Police Department, did not have this sign. It was brought to my attention around September 22nd of 2022 that this sign was put up in the lobby. Um, this sign here counterdicts the United States Constitution. And my problem with this is right above this sign in the first lobby, because there's two lobbies to the police station, there's the first lobby, then there's the main lobby. Right above the main, the first entrance, the corridor to that thing, there's a sign above this sign that I just showed you here that says uh, filming is prohibited by members of the public. And the sign reads, men and women of the Lancaster Police Department shall respect and protect the rights of individuals. Then right underneath it, they got a contradictory sign that says they're going to ban public photography in this room. Number one, this sign in the police department lobby has no penal code underneath it. It is not a law. It would be against the Constitution for there to be a sign that says no photography in the publicly accessible areas. So I'm asking that the town board look into this because there's a few problems with this. One. There's a sign that says the, the Lancaster Police Department is here to protect the rights of the citizens and the individuals. And then they have a sign below it that contradicts that. So I'm asking that we either take down the sign that says the Lancaster Police are here to protect the rights of the individuals, or we're gonna have to take down the unconstitutional sign because they contradict each other. And my biggest problem with this sign is that Lancaster Police are gonna have a bad image from this because I teach the people that their constitutional right of freedom of the press. That means, any member of the public, it can be the press at any point in time. You're the press, you're the press, we're all the press. Everybody in this, this stand here is the press at any point in time. It's just freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press. It's a constitutional right. It makes the police department look dirty because I spend my time teaching the public that they can record in there. Now, I went on the 22nd and I talked to um, a Lieutenant Spire and I, I brought it to the attention of the Blaincaster Police Department, my concern about this sign and uh, nothing was done, so I've come here to talk to you guys today. Um, as far as March 31st of this month, uh, last month of 2023, this sign is still up in the police department. These signs need to come down. The people are sick of police lying to them. They don't, we don't know when we can trust the police anymore because the police lie. And this sign here, here definitely hinders the trust of the police to the public. And on that matter, I want to say one thing. 50 years ago, the most hated man in America would have been a cop killer, all right? Nowadays, when, when we hear in the news that a cop got shot, that's not so anymore, all right? People go, oh, what did that cop do to deserve it? And this is the atmosphere that the, the police are creating for themselves. And I want to know, what did the police do to their image that it is not the most hated man in America when a cop gets killed. And I'm no, no way insinuating that somebody should go out and shoot police officers. I'm just making a point that 50 years ago, that would have been the hated, hated, most hated man in America, and no longer is it that way. All right? There's things like Uvalde that, that, de that devastate the police's image. And uh, this sign here is one thing that definitely it hinders the police's image. I'm asking that the town either force the police department to take the signs down. Now, they're, on the day that I did visit, they said the purpose of this sign is that someone coming into the police department who wants to produce a crime or, or tell the police something, they would say, oh, when somebody's recording in there, that person might be, be uh, you know, shy to do so. But what I'm saying is, is this sign warranted? Now, the town board cut me off there and made me stop speaking, but my point is, is there enough people sitting inside the Lancaster Police Department lobby with a camera recording that they have this sign warranted enough that it could damage the image of the police and on top of it, the police are saying it is prohibited. It is not prohibited. There's no law that prohibits it. So the sign needs to go. Is this time warranted enough? Thank you for your comments. Anybody else like to speak? Yes, sir. 
Thank Pub you, public Thank trust you. is what we're asking for out here. Sir, excuse me, but to say that about our blank Essex Police Department, you are very wrong. Please address us. Thank you. Unconstitutional yeah. sign. Am I very wrong, Erie County fam? The Lancaster Police Department certainly doesn't have a very good rating with the people. I personally trust each police officer in our Lancaster like you all do. Without them and with the New York State way it's going, allowing them to arrest somebody and let them go for anything is disastrous on common man and woman. That is, to say that about our Lancaster Police Department, he has no idea who they are and what they stand for. That's all I have to say about that one. Deep throat the whole boot. I don't even know what that means. But if, you don't, if you don't deep throat the boot, then you don't support the police. Yeah. Um, I just want to make one comment. Um, and I think I'll probably do We are very well in the police department, our credit police department. Yeah. Um, they service us very well, they service our residents very well. We have letters of recommendation on how good of a job they do over and over again. They are outreach to our community, uh, they are outreach to our students, they are the outreach to the general public in, in general. So um, we're very proud. You hear that, Erie County fam? He's very proud of the police department who do not honor their oath and put up unconstitutional signs. Let's go ahead and remember what this supervisor thinks about his oath of office. Let's go ahead and listen to what he just said about it. When you're appointed, you have to take an oath of office. It's got to be done within 30 days. That's state law. So you got to do your oath of office within 30 days. Oh, well, that's a technicality. We've gone this whole before. You know, I looked that up no. before in the past. And there's people from the clerk's office that weren't, didn't get it in time. There's people from all different offices that didn't have their oath of office in time. Did you hear that loud and clear, Erie County fam? The oath of office is just a technicality. Even though it's state law, it's just a technicality. Obviously, Supervisor Ronald here does not take his oath of office seriously. He thinks it's just a technicality. He believes he can do what he wants. He can bend the New York state law. Just like the police department can hang up unconstitutional signs, they do whatever they want. It's just a technicality, remember, fam. Chief, do you have anything to say about that sign? Not currently, no. What's that? Not currently, no. No? You approve of the sign? Yes, I do. That's why it's hanging late. Well, your county family, you have it. There's your chief of police of Lancaster. Approves the unconstitutional sign. Does not believe it has anything to do with making the police department look dirty. Well, there you guys have your constitutional sign will carry. They have nothing to say about it. They won't defend themselves. They just think they're upright and righteous about their sign. Um, looks like the town board is going to go ahead and um, support the sign. We will continue doing stories until the sign is down. The Pew sign went down. This sign can go down as well. Well, Supervisor and Chief of Police, I don't think that's going to go over very well with the people. The Constitution, just a technicality. State law, just a technicality. But since and all, I care about my community. I thought uh, there's a book out there that might help you guys. It's um, the United States Constitution for Dummies. All right. I think that this would be some very good literature for you guys to read and find out that old office you took. Um, and I think that you better start taking it more serious because I don't think it's a technicality to violate New York State law or the people's constitutional rights. One last thing to address, Erie County fam. 
It's been brought to my attention by subscribers that when they try to exercise their First Amendment right to redress their grievances of their government, that posts on Facebook get deleted and they get banned within five seconds. So, if you so decide to exercise your First Amendment right to redress your grievances of your government on their Facebook page and you make a post, make sure you take a screenshot or better yet, a screen recording and send it to me in my email because we will start a class action lawsuit against them for trampling on our First Amendment rights to redress our grievances on that traditional public form called Facebook and social media. Have a good day, Erie County fam, and enjoy. I will see you guys in the comment section. Hey, we live in society now where people want to record how they discipline their child. People that might get mad with this video is the people that probably already embarrassed their child. You can't you can discipline your child in their room. Take something away from them. If they act up, well, I'm like, son, you can't play the game. Your name is not Dan Erie County. Your name is not Dan Erie County. Your name's not Dan Erie County. Sure it is. Under here is Dan Erie County.